Hey, this is Average down here. I'm coming at you with like a little update video videos I plan to do before my big comic videos on Saturdays. So, uh, hopefully there's more of these. I want this to be a regular weekly thing where I discuss either whatever, where I discuss whatever, you know, things in my life that's happened, comics I just ordered. Again, this is my list. And movies and shows that are coming out because I watch a lot of those and I love those. So, but, okay, without further ado here, it's just stuff that's happening in my life. Uh, nothing really. I mean, I'm volunteering at a act of OT stuff. I'm volunteering for the session, so basically... Volunteering weekly, I'm getting therapy free for me, and the students are getting experience from me. So it feels feels really nice. It does feel really nice. And I'm doing that uh, weekly. So that's something that's at least getting me out of the house. But I ordered two comics yesterday. So well as two comics. Uh, the first one is Until My Knuckles, Until My Knuckles Bleed, number one. It's the cover C by Bohemoth Comics. Uh, the writer and artist is Victor Santos. And then I also ordered Silence, number one. This is by Second Sight Comics. The writer is Evan K. Osios, and the artist by Alex Sanchez. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of those names. Sorry if I mispronounced any names going forward. That I do apologize for. But new stuff that I'm looking forward to. I'm not going to find everything uh, uh, attractive or whatever that's coming out. But if you do, and then if I don't say anything, you can always you know shout out in the comments and I'll... Look into it and hopefully add it for future shows. For future videos. But for right now we have Space Force Season 2 coming out. For, well, there's a lot of stuff coming out February 18th, Friday. Now, Space Force Season 2 is a show on Netflix. It has Steve Carell, John Malkovich, Ben Schwartz, and Jimmy O. Yang. It's just an excellent comedy. It's a, a great follow-up to The Office. Does it beat? Does it beat The Office? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. But it's a great follow-up, nonetheless. Then you have The King's Man, releasing on Hulu. Now that I didn't necessarily like The Golden Circle, but I do still love The King's Man franchise. You know. So I would love to see, this is a prequel to both the movies. So I can't wait to see that. And then it has, this has Digimon Honsu and Ralph Fiennes. And again, sorry if I mispronounced that name. I'm going to be saying that a lot, unfortunately. But then, of course, we have one of my favorites, you know. The Marvelous Miss Maisel Season 4 coming out on Amazon Prime. It's just an excellent show. Excellent comedy. Excellent, excellent. It's in the 1950s. It's about a woman coming up in the 1950s. Her trials and tribulations. It has Rachel Brosnahan and Alex Bornstein. And Tony Shalhoub. Uh, it's just a great cast. That's a great cast. And of course you have. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A new movie coming out on Netflix. I know nothing about. But I know the original. Was really good. And the. Um, the rebooted series actually was. Uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good, it wasn't 
bad. It was just meh. No. What? I could see that. That's coming on Netflix. As Sarah Yarkin, Elsie Fisher, and Mark Burnham. That's coming out. And of course, the one I'm going to see in movies. And in theaters. I'm saying movies. The one I'm going to see in theaters. This Saturday. And it comes out on Friday. On February 18th. This is... Uncharted. <laughs> Uncharted, I love the video games. i played all the video games. Am I have maybe a little bit elevated? I mean, I, I've grown because of the, due to the trailers and stuff, seeing it. I've grown. That's a little accustomed to Tom Holland's Nathan Drake. Uh, I'm a little less. Uh, a little less on him. I'm still kind of concerned about Mark Wahlberg's, uh, to what this about Mark Wahlberg, period. I mean, he's a great actor, but I don't know how he's going to do a Sully. That's just my opinion, though. I'm, I might be totally wrong. He might be fucking fantastic as Sully. I don't know. I got Sophia Ali. She's gonna be playing. Uh, she's gonna be playing the love interest. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on names, but she's gonna be playing Nathan Drake's love. Lana. Uh, Lana. I don't know the newscaster. I um, apologize. I forgot her name. But then, after that, February twenty third. You know, we got we got a really good show coming out called Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. I remember this coming out. I remember the original show. That's what I mean. I remember liking and watching a lot of the episodes of the original show, and a lot of uh, a lot of original characters have even come back. <coughs> no, first you have Karen. Karen Melina White, who, I don't know, I think she plays a new character, I don't know. You know, Seth, got a Pratt, comes back as Bunny Proud, you know. Uh, Brenda Song. I'll, I'll be honest, my memory is not as good. So, uh, I know who Bunny Proud is, Kyla Pratt. And Brenda Song. I, I know her. I know her from the street life of Zach and Cody. I don't remember who she voiced necessarily, but that's okay because I'll, you know, I'll come back. But, and even brought back Carlos Mencia. Dang. Man. Yeah. But that's it. For the update video, for this update video, whatever I want to call it. Uh, point out what you're looking forward to the most, or if I missed anything, in the comments below. Or you can reach me on my socials. Uh, Instagram at TRIPL3XXXMayhem. Facebook at Official Average John. Twitter at Real Average John. Don't worry if you can't understand me, because it's all in the description below. I will see you later.